Prepare for battle. Very much cuddle guy yes i'm toby one i am joined by a blitz for our grand final it is a full best of five grand final so we will see which team is far superior will it be eg or will it be secret of course the men who superior when it comes to knowledge blitz what's your thoughts so far on the draft i think eg had to have known that the meepo was coming and like ben said earlier today it's a hero that you want to be able to pick ninth or tenth not second but clearly it's a hero that secret no EG will most likely ban later on into the draft, and I think EG has an okay lineup for it. Obviously, there's a lot of crowd control on the team uh, on the side of Team Secret, mm -hmm. and most importantly, they've got Doom. And I don't know what to say about this hero that hasn't already been said. Just, just use the word imbalance. That's, I, that's I don't know if imbalance is the correct word. It's just, it's one of those scenarios where if. Typically, one hero is doing really well. Uh, you have one core that does really well. You just get shut down by Doom. But you almost yeah. have to pick a dual core. Otherwise, it doesn't even matter what si what type of the core you are. Begins. Even if you're like a Drow Ranger that has no abilities, you're going to get Doomed if you're the number one farm priority. Yeah, we'll yeah. it just makes it a 4v5 every single time. But, uh, well, we'll see if it is possible. There's Eternal Envy who's taking that Doombringer in secret. They like to do this where they actually push Eternal Envy to the offlane. Time and time again, they, they, they push this out and then run a dual lane on the off. Puppy will be joining him later on. Paladise is actually scouting out the fact that Fear is just hanging around with Boots first. And he's going to actually have a bit of a beat in to the Bane. He leveled up Brain Sap, but Fear, okay, well, the damage is pretty even across the two of them. Is it though, Toby? Seven armor ogre literally taking no damage. It's, it's the Brain Sap that just brings it all back. All of that ogre is hard work. He's a laborer. And Pilot Eye is eating the upper crust, aka his life. And they're gonna go again. They can ignite back off cooldown, but Pilot Eye is back to full life and Fear is down to 250. You can always trade so positively with the Burning Sap. It doesn't cost that much mana either early on, and the cooldown of it is okay. 14 seconds, it's pretty manageable. But Fear is just trying to waste the time of Pilot Eye to make sure that this is as even of a 1v1 matchup as possible. And Arteezy is actually doing really well in it. He's already up to 6 CS. Auto completed, and most importantly, Weeha does not have that much farm. Yeah, he's been he's been pushed back a little bit, making it difficult to farm up. <laughs> he just keeps going here on Pilot Eye. I want to check out the other lanes at like the dual lane on bottom, but this could just erupt at any point. But Arteezy getting these uh, these acid sprays very very deep, so Weeha can't just come in and poof. Now he's got multiple Meepos and turns into double poof. Arteezy, the secondary Earth Binder with the brains up coming in from Pilot Eye. He actually held off and ensuring Weeha can get the kill, but that ignite is gonna do work. Fear getting body blocked up by the secondary Meepo, but he will be able to find that revenge kill onto the Meepo. So a one for one trade off in the mid. It's gonna get very very scrappy. That was such a significant trade off and. This is something that you want to see out of this Weeha Meepo. Ben talked about it before. This is his comfort hero. This is the one that you want to be playing in the finals with. And it was so patient as well. Like he knew the second hit level three, he had an opportunity to kill off Arteezy. Waited it out and then just capitalized on the moment. That's our other lane's looking. So let's, let's actually look down towards this bottom lane because I want to check out the top last because it's just heavily one way. So we've got a, a Witch Doctor support working with a Wind Ranger, some male. Some male being pulled back off that mid lane this time around uh, to allow RT to take the Alchemist, something they were doing normally when you played that Protective Storm Spirit, pushing some male to the safe lane, but it just seems like this lane's just better suited to have the Wind Ranger in it. Yeah, they seem to have kind of swapped around roles in general. Sumail seems to be playing more of the safe laner nowadays, and this seems to have been a conscious effort in the middle of the tournament. And it's been paying off for them as they were able to walk away with a victory at top. Universe is going to get gone on, but stun range isn't quite long enough. But I don't think Universe went to do that. Uh, Universe yeah, a little bit of a misclick. <laughs> he, he, he put the Iron Shell on Pile I Die after um, Misery also wafted the Impel. He knew he wasn't going to get in range in time to get it off with the Nightmare setup. So yeah, not the greatest, but keeps Bane away from everything else. I guess that's one of the one way to look at it. Yeah, I I'm trying to look on the bright side of life. It, it really was just a misclick for Universe. But he stuck around and kept hitting him too. Like he wanted to fight. His hero's purple, Bane's purple. That's a hard mistake. <laughs> Alright, but this mid lane, it's still going okay. Arteezy's still winning in CS. And with the early bounty rune, 
he's doing perfectly fine. If you took a if you take a look at the net worth, he's well ahead of the pack, and this is just what an alchemist does to you, especially one that opted to completely skip the stun and just yeah. go for the Scrivel's greed. And he's he's getting greedy. What? How about the stacks? Like there's. Nothing in the Radiant Jungle. Actually, there's one double. St actually, there's two double stacks. Okay, so PPD is on. It's on the stack game. Instead, he's going to secure the bottom room, but Artis is going to got that, so they're going to give up an extra stack. But is it going to be a bounty? Watch the money. It's a bounty. Watch the money. Twenty nine hundred net worth already. Nice. This is what you want out of your mid laner, but I think most importantly, Weha getting that kill was probably a confidence booster. Toby just kind of tells you, okay, I can hang with this guy. Yeah. And it's pretty significant, and what a finals we have. I mean, I, I know they talk about it ad nauseum, but EE e versus RTZ. It, it really is a bit of a, of a revenge. So I was like, well, okay, he, he left Secret. He, well, along with four other players, left Secret. So this really is a whole new roster for facing his former captain and puppy. Words were said, but he came back to the evil genius's lineup. And right now, though, it still seems fairly even across the board. Like, you won one. Yeah, the Arkham is getting farm. We know how fast Weeha is able to flash farm with his Meepo, especially with early levels. Puppy, he's going to Shallow Grave and TP out. There's nothing they can do to stop this. But, uh, yeah, all the lanes are looking maybe not so great on the bottom for Secret. Because what are we really looking at? Eternal Envy is level 4. That's not too bad. But Samel's 4.5. PBD is up to just shy of 4. And they can start adding pressure towards his bottom tower as well. And the stacks are not being, like, you're able to rotate the Witch Doctor off the bottom lane multiple times to ensure the jungle is stacked, so this Alchemist will flash farm even faster, or it's a recovery mechanism for Universe. No, it's probably going to be a split of both. But, I mean, Universe is doing fine in this top lane. Like, this is what you want out of your Darks here. We're going to see Secret go for the lane switch as soon as Misery hits level 6, which is something they've been doing all tournament. They even rotate Eternal Envy to the jungle to make sure that he can get one of those creeps, the Alpha Wolf being the best, and he's already immediately found one. And Pylai die, he's going to be the recipient of this mid XP. This is just kind of a entire sw swaparoo by Team Secret to ensure that everyone is kind of equally leveled. Well, they can do that, but the flash farming of VG is still going to happen. Fear stacks one, Arteezy waits for the secondary. And this can actually help Fear also get up in the levels. Like, it doesn't just have to go exclusively towards the Alchemist. Same, same for the Witch Doctor. You want to see him reach level 6 as early as possible, so you can have that Death Ward available for the fights. And I still want to actually see the build coming out from the Alchemist, because right now, I'm seeing a Vid Booster and a Stout Shield on Arteezy. Where does he want to go with this? Is this the Solar Crest into buffing up your supports? Like, getting that Aghanims onto the Witch Doctor? Or is it meant to be the Fighter? Get the Radiance build up and running. Is that going to be enough against the Meepo? I think it's more likely that he goes for the Radiance and just becomes the Radiant Fighter. But the Vid Booster, we saw it at IG too when they did it. I don't... They're going to have to wait for his ulti to end. He's got a lot of HP it, to work it, with. It just ended. So at this point, there's no chemical rage. He would have been dead hit with the stun part. I with a follow-up range step from Weeha. Trying to prove forward. A little bit out of range, but Arteezy will still end up going down to the attack of Weeha. The support was rotating in from EG, but it all came a little too late. Yeah, I think it's likely that this is just a casual vid booster. We saw Ferrari do this at ESL New York, where he just wanted it for that extra HP, so he didn't have to commit to treads or anything, but... Oh, so Mel invades the stun, but I think he's still gonna die. Yeah, he gets Nightmare and he comes the extra Meepos. Dazzle with the burst heal. Another big part of that combination of Team Secret is the fact that you can get the Meepos in close, you get the poof damage, but then you also have that burst shadow wave heal. It's up at level 3 already for Puppy. He really wants to make sure that they get these kills when they initiate. And I do. That's two in a row. I really like the way that Weeha rotates, by the way, Toby. It's just, it feels off kilter. You don't really know where he quite is at all times. Sometimes he'll just go for the straight farm game into the jungle and never show himself. Other times he's willing to rotate one Meepo down to try to put aggression onto the safe lane carry. And with that succeeding, even though the gold lead is still in favor of EG, a lot of that you can chalk up just to the fact that the Alchemist with the bounty runes. Make no mistake about it, this hero is almost always going to be ahead in the yep. network chart. It's really deceptive. It really is kind of crazy because Meepo was always that one hero. The hero who, like, from the days he was first put into Dota, you're like, okay, this guy is just going to be jumping all across the map. He's always going to be out leveling you. He's always going to be out farming you. And with the Alchemist and the new Greaves, uh, Grievous Greed, you can keep up. But only for so long. These stacks have been burnt and he's still only 700 in front.
The Meepo had some sacks to rely on too, and he is 2 and 1, so he has the advantage there. But Arteezy should be okay. Misery's just kind of looking around for it. He wants PPD, he's gonna get him too! Yeah, that's enough damage. Did that one basic attack, but the mana burn level 1, the 4 points up already in the impale. And actually be able to attack with the Vendetta and not having to choose Vendetta as the Invis reposition works perfectly. And this is really significant because you notice that with this base creation, they're actually letting their Dazzle just free farm at bottom. And with nobody up here, Sumail having to go to that top lane, this is just kind of keeping EG bottlenecked into their lanes, whereas Secret just have a lot of time to rotate in. This is just a byproduct of how much Misery was able to do with that gank and the one earlier into the jungle. Mm -hmm. Like, look how much Puppy's getting Radiant's out of this lane right now. He can get a really attack. early medallion. Or he's gonna go for the treads into... I think he won like an early bracer last game that he played. But regardless, he's picking up a lot of levels for support. Yeah. It's a beautiful time if you're if you're a uh, secret, unless you're Misery, underneath that Radiant Observer Ward. But the shackles don't last long enough at the moment. So Misery's just able to pop off that spy Carapace, turns up Universe and Samael, and just walks himself away to safety. And EG, it's almost like they're just playing playing for time. You're getting an urn over an ogre, so PPD definitely wants to be involved in some level of engagement. And Arteezy with 2.8k gold. Another 1,000, he'll have that relic up and running. And Secret, maybe it's time to gank Arteezy again. They have killed him off twice in this game already, trying to restrict that farming rate of his. The thing about an alchemist is that what's so good about ganking him is he's naturally always going to have a ton of gold on him. And it's almost always going to be unreliable gold, so it pays off when it comes to XP and the amount of gold that you can make him lose and that you gain. But at the same time, it does get progressively harder, and it's kind of difficult to slow down his item progressions just because of how quick they come. Mm -hmm. But they have to start making some space for him. Like, you can't just let your jungle get invaded this early repeatedly. They're trying. They actually smoke themselves up. Unfortunately for EG, they smoke themselves up underneath that dire observer ward that's still Radiant back inside the Radiant tower. Jungle. So this is completely known. That's why Envy's going a lot deeper inside of his jungle, and everyone else is just having a misery sitting here as a, as a ward scouter. So if they do sp move up that way, they break the smoke. I don't even think they're walking around with detection. This bottom tower, though, Secret is reading this game so well. Like they get a free bottom tier two tower or tier one tower, Toby. Yep. And that's the that's the biggest sign that EG are smoked up. Nobody's farming mid. Nobody's showing themselves top. And you're just gonna give Weeha a free tower at bottom. There's no way. And the trade off is actually gonna be huge right here. If they can get this Roshan, they TPing in. No, this is just a fake. This is a faint. They're gonna go for the Rosh instead. Oh, this would be so significant. This is an 11 minute Rosh that they could take. Do they have any idea about this? It doesn't look like it, and they got nowhere to really scout it out. They don't have a tier 1 tower at bottom of the TP2. I guess their mid one is the best option here. Uh, nobody's showing themselves on the map, so you notice that EG's rotating as 5. There's nobody showing, so they're thinking to themselves, are they smoking us? And they're going to be surprised to find out it's an early Roche. It is an early Roche, Sean. It's already a level 11 Meepo as well. The divider we stand. You're up at 3 Meepos across the board. Weeha's getting more and more space, and he's almost got that Aghanim Scepter. If you give this guy another 300 gold, we got ourselves another Meepo on the field. And now Misery, he finds some mail on bottom lane. He really wants to start with the attack, and he had to go with the sudden yes. step. Where's the Doom? Oh, it's here. And some mail. Oh, he'll get back behind the tower. But he'll probably have to be denied. He's not tanky enough for this. He should be fine. No, he's gonna Actually, survive. He's got, he's got wand charges. Mm. You can't use the wand, but yeah. he's definitely gonna be okay. He had 550 to survive with. It's Dyer's pure damage. It's pretty yeah, easily calculable. Attack. I think it's only like 370. I was wondering if there's going to be any kind of follow-up, but then you got to realize, like, Secret don't have any kind of jump in. Once you use that Vendetta, it's kind of it's kind of it. Like, you need that Blink Dagger on the Meepo after he's done the Axe. Alright, so... They have taken control of the jungle, and this is just a byproduct of having the Meepo with that Aegis. There's not a whole lot that he can do, because they don't want to group up into a 5-man and run into the Meepo. He's yeah. going to destroy them in a straight-up fight. They've got a lot of farm on all of their heroes. It is the big advantage though of EG with, with the way they're drafted. And they've done it throughout this tournament as well. Where they come in with this real strong group fight. Obviously having someone like Universe on your signature Darkseer hero makes it even better. So when you've got the acid spray down, you get a good Darkseer back wall. You don't really have a great AoE stun because you're still relying on Paralyzing Cast to do a lot of work. So it's not like what, we, what they had previously, which is with like a Lion from PPD. But it's, it's still quite intimidating for Secret to fight directly into it. 
but they want to make the most out of this Aegis. That's why they're pushing up and towards the mid. They're coming from behind. So Doombringer, Scorched Earth soft cooldown. He doesn't have Doom for another 12 seconds, so it's not the dream time and that sentry ward. It sees Misery, the paralyzing cards, controlling up Weeha. He might want to bring in a couple more Meepos, and in fact, he will do so, but it's right in the middle of that ultimate. Both the Death Ward as well as the Darkseer. You can keep the Aftermath controlled. More poops in, but Arteezy, that ultimate, is keeping him alive. One charge to the 12. Finally, he'll go down. Don't and Weeha will get more aggressive. There's the control. A double kill for Pilot Eye. Weeha dropping very low with one of his Meepos. The attack from Samael, it will be enough. They'll trigger the Aegis of the Immortal. But the Doom's already killed off the Ogre. It ends up being a three for three trade if you don't count if you don't count the Aegis. Radiance top tower is under attack. That got Dyer's very scrappy under the tower. Under it was actually surprising Radiance how that was set up because they pretty much just forfeited Misery's life by him having to run in like that and he didn't really have the best angle to help out his team either. That was one of those more forced encounters where you just want to take a fight because you have the Aegis. Yep. But you still have to be careful because PG, you can't really afford to give up many fights like that. You've got a Radiance Alchemist. The Witch Doctor gets a whole lot out of that fight. Most importantly, Sumail's almost got his Agonims too. Dyer's you have to be careful. Or at, at least, least respect it. Oh, Universe. It's not just the first, first Earth Fine, but there's a lot more Weeha coming in. Underneath that Tier 1 tower, trying to make the most out of the haste rune you picked up. But that's going to be where it ends. Radiance they should be able to take this mid tower. It doesn't look like EG want to contest this, especially not with RTZ not there. He also doesn't have a TP yet, so this should be just a mid tower in. This it's going to mean a lot of control into the jungle. You're going to notice that Secret is going to place a lot of wards into the enemy jungle, and now you can make a lot of different excursions with the smoke. Just bring two or three heroes to control as soon as you can. You see Misery. He's going to find TPD. PPD knew it as well. He, he threw down the Observer Ward at the same time as Misery went Invis. So he understood that Misery was there. So it was a bit of a hopeful TP out from the little corner. It was the only corner he would reach before the, before the Vendetta Nyx will catch up to him. At top, RTZ. Eternal Envy is looking for it, but... Don't want to wait too long. And the Ward's going to spot him out too. Should just mean RTZ is going to beat a retreat. But the rest of his team's coming in. But this Ward is going to spot them. Eternal Envy is going to back himself up, or maybe he can even bait for this. He knows that there can't be high levels of that unstable concoction. The EG's ward sees it too. He sees Weeha and Puppy coming through the side. Now Fear might need that few stun to keep this Doombringer around, but instead he keeps Weeha out of the position. The Earthbind unable to actually hit. The Shackle also not able to get his connection. EG able to disengage here. Now looking to do the same. Eternal Envy, he's burned his Scorched Earth. He's burned the Doom. And RTZ, all he's got to do is just pop that chemical enough. rage and they go for the run. Fear's going to come up behind, he can't get in range for the Ignite. So unable to slow down that Doombringer again. But all five heroes from Michi, they really want to try and fight there. They know that without a Doom available and with Misery showing himself at bottom, it's not the easiest to open up on Team EG. Like, that was meant to just be a quick bait, but Secret correctly assessed that there was a ward there that entire time. Because RTZ backed up so soon and the rest of his team was right there. So this is just going to be a battle of Captain's warding, pretty much. You saw how effective it was just now. And Arteezy's going to pick up the Boots of Travel. It's a really nice farm build for him, but he's going to eat up a lot of time for his team. Yeah. Most of these stacks are going to go to him. But I think they're okay with that. Like getting a really fat Alchemist in this game is obviously an advantage to them. Arteezy, not strong enough at the moment. He still needs to be able to get that big regeneration in. Like 1200 life with Chemical Rage level 2 is not bad. But what do you look to combine here? Like, you got the casual VIP booster at the moment. Like you got BTs, you've got your Radiance. Do you try and go in for the full split push? Do you go for the mana style into Octarine? Is, you that, decide, is that the play up against a Meepo? You can decide to go for the heart and just guarantee yourself tankiness against the burst damage that Team Secret have. Eventually, Team Secret lineup does run out of steam when it comes to the team fights. You just have to be able to survive the initial burst. I think it's more important that at some point he gets PVD, a Aghanim Scepter. Like the Witch Doctor bounce is going to mean a lot in these fights. But Misery's already got his blink. He's just looking around, and someone we haven't talked about quite enough is Universe, who's quietly just been farming. Hasn't participated too much, but hasn't found the need to. But Fear's going to be the target here. Yeah. 
This is actually better almost for EG, the Fear is the one to die, and that's why Eternal Envy instantly goes searching for more. So Fear gets mana burned out, and Envy won't find anything. They'll take out the T1 tower on the top lane. You instantly move EG to the other lanes. More and more runes going the way of the Alchemist. This time it's not the bounty, however. But Weeha is trying to take out the Radiant Jungle. He gets he gets scouted out by this Observer one. Weeha doesn't know this thing exists, and in fact, EG is now going to smoke themselves up. Three heroes to move over and catch up this little Meepo, as if it's possible. There's no Blink Dagger on the Wind Ranger. There's no real jump initiation, so they rely on getting themselves a really good Shackle Shot. They're fighting underneath where they have, like, good vision. The Observe Ward inside the lane. And Puppy's the only one who's a little bit of a straggler, but they don't just want Puppy. Puppy's not worth it. But I suppose they take what they can get. The Earthwind is trying to buy a little bit of more space, the Concoction, and the Shackles flying forward, and Puppy, he won't survive through this. The Alchemist will be the man, man to find the kill. So, more money coming in. It's good that they were able to get something. You don't want to smoke and find nothing. They need more, though. Like, this tier 1 tower kind of has to drop. For this heavy commitment they've got, they're it's probably going to take it. farming as well as everyone else. I think you just go for it just because you're not going to trade too much. You're going to farm, trade out some farm, but it's not like Eternal Envy is going to immediately take that tier tower at top. Yep. This isn't what the Doom does. So this is fine for them. They're going to trade a little bit of farm time to guarantee themselves a tier 1. Completely fine for them. And without Puppy, Secret have no interest in fighting. You need the Grave and the Weave. Yep. The heal onto the Meepos mean quite a lot at this point. Now the Meepo is still looking. So Weeha is walking around with just the axe at the moment. He did pick up the Blink Dagger. But 20 minutes in, Weeha is exactly kind of where he wants to be. He's only 3k net worth behind. Arteezy, and this is just what the Alchemist does. It's yeah. hyperinflated, because when it comes down to it, Alchemist can get kited pretty easily in these fights, and when his chemical rage is down, he's not very tanky, he's so you need a lot. He's going directly in for Octarine. Yeah, he's going to turn into that split push machine. Fear step. The Nightmares, okay, Mr. the stun. You're going to go Doom as well as Fiend Script to ensure the kill on the Ogre. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. They're just looking for these mini skirmishes. You'd rather use the Doom in that scenario than wait for some sort of weird potential fight. And by doing so, they're going to scour out this jungle and play some aggressive wards. Because Team Secret want to play aggressively. Like, they want to look for these individual pickoffs, find RTZ when he goes to the jungle. This is a good start to it. Uh, this, But RTZ can also feel a little bit more confident. Like, Doom down for a little bit, Fiend Script down for a little bit. So he's pushing a little bit over the river. Just to stay in range and hoping that that spray as well as... Uh... Okay, he gets one. Okay, two out of the four creeps in the lane. One a little bit more. Roshan's up in two seconds' time. Time EG need to take this one. They do have that Aghanim Scepter level 2 Wind Ranger Focus Fire, and they instantly scout out Roshan. They couldn't have actually spawned at a better time for EG. They want to take this as early as they can. Without those two big ultimates, EG feel like they got enough that they can bring down Roshan before Secret can do anything about it. They know there's no vision in this area. They know that the wards are probably deeper into their jungle. So this is just a really smart read. And at the same time, Pylai dies mid. The Doom showed himself top. This is a really significant pickup for them if they can actually get it. They've got it. And they're gonna get out. No punishment. The four star hunt. Mystery's in the neighborhood. But there's no detection on him at the moment. Now there actually is. They saw him for a glimpse, but just for a short moment, because the sentry ward is a little bit further to the right. And Misery stuns up on Universe, both Spine Carapers as well as Normal Impale. And the support's coming in for Team Secret. There's no reason for EG to try and fight this. They just want to back up, keep the farm going. Samael's in mid, Nartizi's back up on top. They're just trying to dodge the fight, but Samael, he can't dodge this. The Fiend Script from Pylite Eye came from behind, and Weeha instantly on top of him. They burned the Aegis of the Immortal. They're too far away for this one. There this is, is going to be a free kill. Yeah, okay. Wind Run won't really save you. Boobs are coming in, and there goes the Wind Ranger. You know what the most exciting part about this game is? What? Is the warding war. Just look at the amount of sentry that PPD has placed. Oh, easy. Trouble. He's trying to go for the concoction and Weeha is about to split himself up, but Artiz, he just TP's out, but he's killed himself in face! <laughs> he actually he stunned himself up inside the face and killed himself in front of the far throw! <laughs> that wasn't part of the plan! He meant to throw the concoction, but this had two different decisions! Oh TP as well God. as stun! I don't think I've ever seen that in a pro game. <laughs> that is so unfortunate. They're gonna kill... Yeah, fear, fear and mid, but I, I just they're baiting matter. PPD. They're baiting PPD up. So fear, like you know he's there. There goes the Doom. Universe gonna force our PPD out with the mech. Try and keep him alive. 
And PPD already had that Voodoo Restoration on, so he'll be fine. Oh, we hot. He's going in for more. The males, the jump, they get the stun. As well as getting the kill on PPD. This is, Team there's still a tier 2 alive. On full tilt right now, as the tier 2 tower will drop. Actually, no, they can't get it. The creep boy's a little bit too far away. This but they just wiped the chief after the Artur accident. I feel like for a second they lost focus after that happened. They were probably all laughing about it. And I mean, Team Secret strikes so quickly. Without their Alchemist alive, they're just going to continue to go for this high ground. This isn't a scenario where anybody from EG wants to buy back. They're going to take this Tier 2 tower at top, and that's so much map control just lost by EG right now. And there wasn't a whole lot they can do to curb that to curb that aggression, though. Sumail doesn't have a defensive item. He's gone straight for the Aghanim Scepter, so when the Meepo opens up on him, that's a free kill for him. Yep. Very smart of Secret 2 where they pull out. You understand, you've already taken out, you're at the out of towns, there's only one remaining. And EG in a bit of a crippled position. And you still have to give respect, like EG may have had buybacks available. Team Secret have to be aware of this, so they just back it out. Do not take a full fight, don't overextend yourself after that point. Especially when your Doom is down. I had the Meepo already has a slide. All right, he's got absurd farm. Yeah, I actually just... had to mute my mic when the RTZ thing happened. I, some explosives were dropped. <laughs> Here it's, it's, it's gonna be highlight reel kind of style. Is highlight the right word to use there? Okay, low light, low light. All right, at top, Misery's got the angle on RTZ. There is a tier two tower available, and RTZ's gonna, gonna go for the TP. It's gonna get canceled. Oh, this is not the dream right now. Especially as Meepo's already killed off Wind Ranger. EG, they are initiated on the mid. Now TZ can't come back to help him. PPD, the TP out. It's going to be in time. No Earth Bind. They blink over his head and they're trying to catch out Artur. He can't TP for another 27 seconds. He might have bought a TP scroll, but I'm sorry, they shared the same cooldown. But Artizi runs himself further north. Who's up Radiance here? It's Misery with a blink dagger four stuff. Artizi tries to hide the in the Does tree he see line. him? Misery? No! He's checking the Oh, he's corner. now he's gonna no, find him! Through. He didn't oh, wait, what? He, he should know. He, he's gotta know. Okay, okay he's okay, actually just getting deeper in. Stop peeking out again! Artizi we have to okay, now he's Finally, the way. there's the Earth Mind. They'll find Artizi. The Earth Mind being dodged again. Two seconds until he can TP, but underneath the If he somehow gets out of this. He can't do it. There's too many Earth Mines. He starts to TP Artizi. No way. Couldn't re he couldn't retreat out in time. What an Ooh. unbelievable attempt. The thing is, they knew 100% that he was there. They knew that Misery cancelled the TP. There's nowhere that he could possibly go, so they hunt him down. That's the correct play. You don't give up on that. You continue to search. That You go high and low for that kill. And yep. Something that we haven't talked about is Eternal Envy's farm. He's got the Vlads. He's got the Shiva's guard. Even with the Wind Ranger having that Aghanim Scepter, you're not going to do a lot of damage to this hero. Like, even with the Witch Doctor ultimate bouncing off, this is a 24 armor doom. This is not going to go down easily. Hmm. Yeah. Gonna get hexed up. Attempting to TP himself out. Weeha's gonna take him out. I think at that point, Fuel was trying to sacrifice himself so Universe could escape, but Universe was perfectly alright. It was just rotating over the tree line to come in from behind Secret. Maybe he actually thought the rest of EG was looking to bite. But it's so defensive. Like, Sumail having to go in for something like a BKB after getting your Aghanim Scepter. There's just no real big damage. Universe can't afford, well, actually, he can afford the gem. But they're not just, they're not seeing anything. And the second they do see something, they lose sight of it the second later. I mean, what a team secret is. Just the fact that they can second pick a Meepo and play around it so well. And this is a hero that people are going to have to start learning at this rate. Yep. Especially after this tournament. They're just showing off the strength of the hero, how easy it is to play around it when he's got so much control on his side. And the amount of map control. Look at him. He's farming two Indian's separate jungle camps. Tower. He's got one near his supports attack. to make sure that he's always guiding you. He's never out of position for a gank. It's so hard to gank him up. This hero is just unbelievable right now. And 27 minutes in, he has a Hex, Boots of Travel, Blink Dagger, and the Aghanim Scepter completed. EG's coming to fight. Eternal Envy just sitting on the other side of the river, enjoying the sight. And now, Chief of God will not take down this hero. Him. There it is with the multicast, and they're going to rip through him. And yes, they do actually bring him down before Doom can be used. And before Secret, who were pretty damn close, can actually respond. Poppy has been forced off out by Pile I Die. They have Glimmer Cape available as well. And Arteezy, he just wants to fight in one. So where is he? They throw the Sentry Ward down. They realize he's gone west. The sky's not going to be blue here for Pile I Die, however. The Shackle will latch. And this will be EG. A successful smoke gank bringing down the Doom, bringing down the Bane. But Meepo thinks the top lane's pushing him. They already have to retreat. All right, they killed him in like three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> just not enough tank. <laughs> 
internal NVD to BKB. Even even with the Shiva's guard, like you still have to keep in mind, like you're fighting underneath an acid spray, which is removing like seven armor from you. So oh, you're still just gets... you're still cutting through him. Alright, Weha just solo kills uh, the ogre. I think when it comes to a straight up team fight, he'll be okay. But in a scenario in a scenario where five different heroes are beating on you, yeah, you go down pretty fast. Yep. He was also trying to get the Doom off so his team could re-engage, but it just ends up being him and the Bane dying. Bottom tower is under attack. I'm wondering if Fatizi now has to look at uh, a different avenue. He's trying to go in for this Octarine call. Like he got the he got the Soul Booster to start with, and then just instantly switched himself into the Manda style. He was looking for the extra stats at the beginning. So with the, with the speed this game is going, he's going to start running out of space pretty quickly, and Secret will be looking to go high ground shortly. Is this the time you need to get that Death Ward upgrade? PPD's done his work to get to level 2 on that Death Ward, so he's going to need an Agadim set for upgrade if Secret are going to be intimidated to walk up high ground. I think if they go high ground, that's even more reason to go for the Octarine core, so you can just spam out the Manta Radiance Illusions. I think that even if the height, you definitely want to get an Aghanim Scepter eventually onto the Switch Doctor, but I would still prioritize my own farm right now. For you, you're taking something like more like a, pre a preventive measure, so you st you start the split push, you push out your illusions through the work. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he's very late. He's gonna he's get gonna go. He goes on Arteezy. That chemical rage is still up, however. For the moment, the paralyzing cast will keep Eternal Envy out. Oh, he's gonna even find a haste. Oh, this is just too good. The PPD will not be so good. He'll get caught out. The shackle shot with the four star forward. It looks a little funky. The misery gets a five oh, characters up. We're not really gonna fight the Meat Bros are arriving. The wind is the mail and sword. Universe as well. They try and four star fan a little bit further. He will be in a search away to safety. How is Arteezy still? He's, he's just lagging it north. He wants to push out this creep wave. He does not want Secret coming in. Oh, we have to go for the TV. He's coming in. Arteezy, he's all around him. There's the ensnare concoction this time around. He will be able to get the stun. Start the TP out of there. Another Earth oh. Arteezy! He's home! Barely surviving. This time, the combo works. The last two hits both miss because of the Radiance, and Arteezy barely makes it out of there. And Still, that's a lot of map control for Team Secret. They managed to pick up the Wind Ranger, who wasn't having the best time of, time of it. And yeah, Arteezy survives, but still getting so much map control. Just look at how much the Meepo is able to farm during this time. And now they're going to go in for this Roshan. This is the Cheese and the Aegis this time around. And we is going to be a six slot pretty soon. Like, what are we looking at? So it's it's, it's 8,000 net worth going the way of Secret. The experience is at 22k. The gold, the gold is so that. deceptive in, in this game just because of the Alchemist and Doom's effect, but now they have both Aegis over on Meepo, he'll sacrifice his treads for him, and the cheese goes on to the Doombringer. And where is EG? Because EG's outside the base right now, the Octarine is done, but this means the Alchemist has no buyback. EG cannot fight at this point, because if they do, and they don't have a secondary Alchemist... Oh, he's gonna farm it in like three seconds. This is the one benefit of having an Alk on your team. True, he's, but... he's 700 gold away from buyback. In yeah. fact, all of EG, apart from Darkseer, are 700 gold away from buyback. I'd be surprised if he doesn't have it by the 33 minute mark. And... So, leave your illusions behind and just go. Yep, you can just continue the split push. This is perfectly okay. They're gonna be able to hold. This tier 2 tower at bottom is almost definitely gonna fall. EG are just gonna try to spam out for as long as they can, but this is not a fight you want to take outside the base. Yeah, especially when the Meepo is as strong as he is. They are gonna pop the glyph, but you've gotta be careful if you're PPD. Look at that net range. It's just so big. The secret on coming. Like the Earthbinds just keep him out, but now they will. Arteezy, is he gonna get the range for the concoction? Yes, he will. Goes up, they get the shackle on Weehar as well. Here for the follow-up concoctions. Well, where is actually the stun? He just goes for the for the for the flow at the moment. Oh, and here now comes they go the with the big boomers, but the big wall as well. They got the big heavy freedom is allowing to get off as the mail. Having to stand his ground goes to Castle. Where is your extra damage? You've lost your witch doctor. Arteezy is doomed up. They've lost three. Universe is gonna be the fourth one to go down, and they just call good game. That was the last roll of the dice. They didn't want to wait until Secret came up. They want to try and catch him outside the Radiant Jungle and it will not work. What a dominant strategy by Team Secret. They were able to Meepo, they were able to rotate the Meepo in so successfully into that bottom lane. They took control of a lot of these lanes and Misery was just able to keep them off kilter for so long. He was able to make two ganks successful. They put the pressure on Arteezy early, even getting the solo kill by that Meepo on that mid lane. Um, it's just, uh, it's a great story for Team Secret for game number one because this is the full best of five.
They've already come second at, the, at their recent land final. Can they claim their first? We're going to find out in just a moment. But for now, we throw it over to the panelists to get their thoughts.